dad, my pelican baby. Oh, hey guys. When it comes to specificity, the pelican curl is amazing at creating strong, dense biceps and the surrounding connective tissue. Great for hypertrophy and progressing to skills such as the back lever, the felge, aka the back roll on the rings, and the powerful bodyweight biceps curl. Now the pellet. Sorry. Hey babes, just filming a pelican curl tutorial? No. I didn't say I was gonna cut it out of my life, I said I was gonna dramatically cut back on it. There's a difference there. Yes, and I'd rather be at home with you and the kids, but I'd have one hour just to do this pelican curl tutorial for everyone at home, then I'll be home. I'll just microwave mine. Okay, all right, I love you, bye. The pelican is an amazing exercise in its entirety, but when we look at the eccentric portion is where this exercise really shines. What we do is we load the biceps through extension and that helps to improve the biceps mass and length. You can liken this to the Nordic hamstring curl for the arms. And much like the Nordic hamstring curl, which has been shown to reduce potential injury in the hamstrings, you can predict that this pelican curl will help to reduce biceps tendinopathies that can occur during gymnastics strength training. Hey! I need a vegetables. But what do you want me to do about it? I'm still here recording like I told you. Well, I can't be in two places at once, can I, Martha? <laughs> How can I be? I'm here at the gym like I told you. I can't just rush off there and make her eat her vegetables. Maybe you could pull some of your weight in the family. No, this isn't about spending more time with the pelican curl. God damn it! Why do you always have to make it about that? Martha, if you bring that up, I'm going... Now how to do the pelican curl? What we do is I want us to start with the eccentric. Get into a position we're very likely going to be having the rings at about hip height, chest height, and we're going to lean forward as if we're doing an incline push up. As we begin to lower, we move into a false grip. Not necessary, but very helpful. And we lower ourselves all the way down to a full extension. That complete lockout is very, very important. Once you lower down to full extension, step a foot forward and bring yourself back and reset at the top. Now we initially, for any position we're working in, we want to first dial in that eccentric portion of the movement. But the concentric part, let's talk about that. We've lowered ourselves down to full extension. We now want to curl ourselves back. Now, we might not initially be able to pull back even though we can control the eccentric. So the stepping stone here is when we step that foot forward like we normally would to reset, we can keep it there and begin our concentric with that one foot in front, working towards getting that foot back together with the other supporting leg so we can do a feet together eccentric and concentric. Now we're gonna go through how to scale this exercise, but I just wanna throw in a little bit of technique here for the ones that are really struggling to find a starting position. It's hinging forward. Rather than keeping the hips completely open, we come forward a little bit and then we break at the hips as we go to that full extension and we pull it back. This is an exception to everything else we're going to talk about if you're really struggling to find a starting place for the exercise. One second. Say it then. Say it. Yes. You caught me with a pelican curl. All those years ago. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, baby. <gasps> I apologize for that pelican curl. 
I apologized for that pelican curl hundreds of times. Is that apology not gonna be enough? Hello? So how do we progress the pelican curl? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> now, in terms of scaling this exercise, the higher the shoulders are relative to the feet, the easier this will be. And then conversely to that, to make it harder, we start to lower the shoulders closer down to the feet. Now we're gonna get to a point where in that full extension of the pelican curl, we're gonna hit the ground. And at this point, we're gonna to have to start to elevate the feet. And there's going to be a point as we elevate the feet where we're going to need to start to hinge and vertically stack this position rather than just keep it a leaning forward type of movement. Now there is the option of turning this into a pelican push-up, but if you're looking to do this pelican curl to receive the benefits mentioned earlier, increased hypertrophy for the biceps and strengthening the connective tissue to help prevent injury, the push-up's not gonna add anything further to it. The same way doing a muscle-up, the pull-up aspect is not gonna help the dip aspect. It's just simply aesthetic to look at this through a fuller range of motion. So just consider that when considering if you wanted to add the push-up into, into it. You gonna leave me then? Yep. Even though I said I was sorry, I don't deserve you, eh? What if I promise to never do the pelican again? Then I don't need you then, do I? I've got the pelican for me! I can do pelican curls all day! And you'll be home trying to get kitty to eat vegetables! What a fun life for you! <laughs> While I'll be getting hypertrophy! So you're definitely gonna leave then. Hello? <laughs> she loves me. Let's talk about programming. Now, how to execute the skill. How many reps, how many sets, how many times a week. So executing this pelican curl, we're gonna focus purely on the eccentric to start, and that lowering phase should take five to 10 seconds. The focus just being on going slow and controlling it through a full range of motion. In terms of repetitions, we're gonna have a general guide here. Three to five repetitions, three to five sets, once or twice a week. Now, if you're just starting these, this is a completely new exercise to you. We go three repetitions, three sets, once a week, and progress from there. Have full range of motion, always at top priority. Nail the eccentric, then move on to the concentric. And it is optional here to purely focus on the eccentric. That lowering down, loading through extension of the biceps is really what matters when we're trying to build strength in that connective tissue. Yes. <laughs>